The shutdown and the debt ceiling debate will dominate today's Joint Economic Committee hearing in Washington. And Texas Congressman Kevin Brady is the chairman of that committee. He joins us live from the nation's capital just two hours before the talks are set to begin. Good morning, Congressman. Eleven days into the shutdown that has idled more than 800,000 federal workers and cost the economy more than $300 million a day. What are your suggestions for ending the stopgap right now, even though there was that meeting last night and there may be an agreement? Yeah, you know, I think that was an encouraging meeting last night. I think America really deserves leaders who are willing to sit down and work out the tough issues. Uh, the proposal that House uh, Republicans gave the president was this. Let's call a timeout on the dispute over the debt ceiling. Let's sit down together uh, and work out reopening the government as well as changing America's finances as a government. As you know, we're in pretty deep trouble. And our thought is, <clears throat> proposal at least, was to do it now. Because we don't think a government shutdown, frankly, is good for anybody. Certainly a debt ceiling showdown is not good for America. And the House, of course, has already acted to open up funding for veterans, Head Start, and cancer research. We really would like to get this resolved. So, Congressman, what does this do to the hearing that you had planned on having this morning? probably never more important than now because what this hearing is is about is getting past these political showdowns ending forever the threat of a government shutdown and really how do republicans and democrats put in place the spending guardrails that get america back not just to a balanced budget but that we, we right size the government for the 21st century in a way that it provides services to those who need it uh, but it isn't so bloated that we can't afford the government. And so we've got Republicans, Democrats with their best ideas coming together. And I, and I think this is the right way forward. Okay, government shutdown, fine. Things may be working out. But then we've got the debt ceiling coming up in a couple of days. If we don't do something, you have no Social Security checks. The military is not going to be paid. Medicare reimbursements, none of this is going to happen. What do you think needs to take place now? Well, I, the good news is that's not the case. Uh, but the, uh, in truth, Social Security checks will go out, Medicare will be paid, the military will be paid. But you know something? We don't even have to go that direction. Republicans are not going uh, to allow this country to default. In fact, the only way it'll happen is if the president, for some reason, walks away from negotiations. What I think and what I know is that historically, Republicans, Democrats have used the debt ceiling as really the opportunity to sit down and change the financial mess the country is in. Democrats held President Bush from Houston hostage in 1990 to do the same thing. Two years ago, we had a replay, replay of that showdown. I really think it's time to get away from these financial crises. But look, the president can't get a blank check just to take the country deeper in debt. Let's change our spending habits in a way that actually saves Social Security and Medicare. That's what I want. Congressman Kevin Brady in Washington, thank you so very much for joining us. And your optimism Thanks, Jose. is Thanks infectious. Thanks for having me. <laughs> thank you, sir.